Hey everyone, it's me, Cynthia. Welcome back to Inspiro. So today I wanted to share some of my current fave sustainability-minded and ethical brands with you from home and wellness to food to, you know, fashion and everything under the moon that's been bringing me joy that I've really loved using or wearing over these past few months. With these types of videos, I do want to preface that the most sustainable products are the ones that you already own and that your value and your worth and your sustainability isn't tied to where you buy from or what you buy, but really how you buy, and then everything else that you do. They are good options to be aware of or consider if you are thinking about you know, investing in or replacing your items in any of these areas. I'm gonna leave timestamps down below all of the areas and sections I'm gonna talk about, and I hope that you enjoy. But also if you watch a lot of my videos, just know about a lot of these things are things that you probably already know of because I use a lot of the same things. You know, I don't really consume that much, especially new stuff. I thought it'd be fun to share some of my favorites. Starting off with one of the favorite facts that I learned over these past few months, but did you know that there's a good chance your bank could be using your money to fuel the fossil fuel projects that are destroying the climate? Why didn't I think of this? Why didn't I challenge the bank that I use? I just use the bank that my family uses, but this is what is wrong with the system. <laughs> your money doesn't just sit in the bank. Your bank is allowed to use 100% of your deposits as collateral for lending and investing. And banks have contributed more than $3.8 trillion to the fossil fuel industry since 2016. It's not just about the brands that you choose to buy from or how you choose to use your voice and your power as an individual for change, but it's also who you bank with, where you keep your money. That brings me to today's sponsor, which is Aspiration. Aspiration is a digital banking alternative that you can trust that allows you to align your money with your values. Not only are they a certified B Corp that will never invest your money into things like fossil fuels and oil pipelines and coal mining and other harmful projects and industries that destroy the climate, but they also are part of 1% for the planet and Aspiration has pledged to donate 10% of their profits to charity. Aspiration is FDIC insured and regulated just like a bank. So it is 100% safe, just like any other bank to keep your money in. No overdraft, maintenance, or any predatory fees. But yeah, if you're interested in checking them out and not supporting a bank that invests in the fossil fuel industry, I will leave the link down below. It's joinaspiration.com slash inspiro and you can get $50 when you sign up. With that, let's get into the brands in today's video. First brand is Free Label. I'm wearing their top right now. This is the Franny Wrap Top. I got it in the white linen. It's a heavy linen too and then these are the cropped i think the ray crop but you can see this nice little like open cut you watched my wardrobe essentials i talked about this set which is a really really pretty light sage green color and it has longer sleeves free label is a size inclusive super small woman owned canadian brand they're based out of vancouver and they are a two woman show i really love that their studio is super close to the factory that they work with so regular check-ins making sure that everything is up to par in terms of workplace safety and ethics and i absolutely love their pieces and i know linen sometimes is like i definitely am more careful when i wear linen especially white linen so on the flip side of that, this has been my go-to top. This is a tank from Vince and James. It's her square neck tank. They're also a really small woman owned, I think one woman show. Produced in small batches, they pay living wages and they use responsible low impact materials, including regenerative content. Just been wearing this anytime I want to look more put together because it is a full length tank and it's really flattering, really comfy. It's also double lined. When I just want something easy to throw on, especially if I get sweaty, this has just been my go-to. When I don't really want to show, you know, my waist area because a lot of my other block tops are crop. Next thing is this bag. I have not had a bag in so long. This is from Poppy Barley. They also do shoes, sandals. This is made of cactus leather. They're a Canadian woman-owned brand. They support artisans both in Mexico and Brazil. This is just me friggin loving like cool materials in sustainable fashion but cactus leather is called laguaro and it's made from harvesting the leaves of cacti which is a super abundant plant in mexico and it's a super low impact raw material because it doesn't require that much water and the plant remains intact after harvesting this collection is fully traceable from the cactus farm to the mills and the solar powered factories that all pay living wages the lining inside is made with cotton grown milled and woven in mexico too so i really love that if you've been looking for a cross 
crossbody bag. I really like this one. On the topic of casual wear, but like not looking too casual, I've been wearing this Veta set. You would have seen it in all of my other videos. Veta Capsule is a woman-owned brand that focuses on capsule wardrobe pieces that are super versatile and all produced ethically. The shorts that it comes with, I haven't really had lounge shorts that look elevated and I've been wearing these a ton. They're just like the perfect length. I brought this set to the cottage too, and on days where it's kind of cold and thunderstormy, they have the long pant version and not the shorts. And I've been loving this as well. This one has pockets. I fulfilled all my needs, I would say, for loungewear. Like I have my casual ones, and then I also have my more elevated ones too. Since I work at a startup, like I'll be able to wear these things into the office once we return as well. But also on the note of casual, I have been living in these sweats. These are from Colorful Standard. I talked about them in my last vlog and they are all made ethically in Portugal with organic cotton. So I haven't really been wearing the Pangaea set. I might sell it in my closet sale, which I know I'm still gonna do. I just have been super depressed and anxious. <laughs> Always wanted just like a nice cream base. I actually got a size extra large. I sized up. If you watch the vlog, I initially got a medium. So I'm gonna do a quick giveaway. But yeah, I asked the team to exchange for a larger size and they didn't do returns. So I'm gonna give away the size medium and the t-shirt and these sweats to one of you. If you're interested, just make sure you're following me on YouTube and Instagram. I wanna make sure that I'm giving back to, you know, a supporter. Comment down below and tell me one thing that you've learned or done recently to be an activist in your own right at your level of influence because I think that we're all activists and whether that's a way to support the indigenous community through everything that's happening recently, whether it's, you know, to help combat all of the intersectional areas related to climate change, racial justice, women's rights, the LGBTQ plus community. Like I wanna know, cause I think that's also a great way to teach other people in the comments something that's worth learning. Yes, I'm excited to give these to you. It will be open internationally. I will pay for shipping to where you are and I'm excited to be 20 with you because 20, did I just make up any word? Because I have the larger size. Yeah, colorful standard if you're looking for ethical sweats, lots of colors, unisex sizing, but also don't go crazy and buy like too many different colors, you know, just what, what you need and will love. I'm excited to give this away to one of you and I hope that you like it. Next fave is an indigenous owned and run brand called Native Urban Era. I saw their You Are On Native Land cap and I absolutely loved it. So it's in the mail right now. I ordered the cap and I also ordered this gorgeous oversized tee with a bird, I think a hummingbird and a poem on it. But I really wanted to shout them out. I think it's really important to continue to support brands, not just from people of color, but from indigenous and black people in those communities as well, and to also continue to learn how to support them, you know, to donate to the IRSSS, I think that's what it's called. I'll leave some foundations down below to support, to be aware of, to spread awareness for. The other thing I've loved is All of the Above TV. It's run by Celine and Sophie, and I think they do a really good job of helping me shift my mindset. When I get super anxious about the climate and about everything intersectionally that is problematic and doesn't seem like it ends. Recently with everything happening, my like climate anxiety and just my like worldly anxiety has been really bad, but I like to remind myself that that doesn't really help get us anywhere and yeah, honor your feelings, but also don't let it stump you from continuing to do your part. Quickly also wanted to shout out Booty, which a ton of you left comments on my sustainability minded undies undergarments brands to know video and I didn't know about them until you guys commented. They reached out and asked if they could send me this ribbed crop bra top. There's something about this color. I've been wearing it a ton with my organic basics shorts, which you guys can kind of see in this video. I think it's so flattering. I wear it backwards. So it's more of like that scoop neck would be at the front. And there's something about the cut that just like the, the straps fall perfectly. So I don't feel conscious about my like chicken wings and I really love it. Next are some home faves. The first is a brand called April Notes and they are a brand that does linen bedding and curtains. And if you don't know, I've been looking for curtains for so, 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 so long. <laughs> I remember how I found, I think they started following me on Instagram and that's when I was like, oh my gosh, like, this is cool, I'll follow back. I love supporting brands that pay living wages, they use all Ecotech certified fabrics and they also produce on demand. And then they launched their linen curtains and I was like, oh my God. So 
I think I'm planning on getting sheer linen curtains finally <laughs> so I can get some privacy in here. And they also do linen bedding. So if you have been looking to, you know, invest in some bedding or if you want some sheer curtains, I will leave them linked down below. I'm very, very excited and fingers crossed it's all going to work out. But that's my first home fave. Next home brand that has been bringing me so much joy is Fable or Dine with Fable. This is one of their ceramic mugs. You would see them on my little shelf in there. They are non-toxic ceramic dinnerware, flatware, dishware, I guess, whatever you call it. These are my two faves. This is their pasta bowl and their cereal bowl. They were kind enough to gift me a set for me to try. They are my first ever like nice dishes. Before this, I would have two plates, two bowls, like two utensils, and I would just wash them every single time. So it really makes me feel like an adult and like I have my life together and like I deserve, you know, good dishware. <laughs> so thank you, Fable. But I've been using them for a couple of months now. And I absolutely love them. They've performed so well. They still look brand new. These are gonna last me a lifetime. They're also oven safe. So I've actually been using the larger plates in my oven when I'm cooking stuff and sometimes I'll do a nice little single serving like lasagna or something in this bowl, which I really like. Fable is also certified B Corp and a carbon neutral brand and all of their dishes are non-toxic. I love that their supply chain and production are super sustainability minded with the water fully reused. They use recycled clay, renewable energy and ethical practices. So they're also SMETA certified, which is the SEDEX like certification. And the other thing I love is their flatware. This is all matte black. And I finally just feel like every meal that I'm eating is like from a bougie ass restaurant, but it's just in my kitchen. And it's just little things like that, you know? I've used them a ton. There's no scratches or anything. And I'm pretty aggressive with my like utensils too, which I know wasn't that classy, but you eat three times a day or more. And just having nice cutlery and nice dishes that all match, like even just seeing them on my shelf right now, I feel so good. It just gives me so much joy. Next thing is my Art Place pan. I wanted to use this for a solid few months and I really love it. Like I said, I only really started cooking more because I was at home in the pandemic. I wanted to save money. I wanted to learn about nutrition and nourish myself, especially with my mental health. And you know, they did kindly send me this, but I was thinking about buying it myself for so long, but I wanted to make sure that I would recommend it to friends and family before recommending it to all of you, but I have seriously loved this. I make soups in it. Sometimes I cook my rice in it and it actually turns out pretty well. I can like batch make a bunch of rice in this. I've made risotto and pasta, my warm salads, like everything. I use it to steam. Oh my God, I've been on such like a custard bun train for dim sum and I use it for everything. I did kind of burn the bottom though because I had my other uh, element too hot and this one too close. So I would say that you have to be careful in terms of using like low to medium heat. So I did burn the outside a little bit, but it still works really well. The nonstick still works really well. Now quickly onto a few wellness things. You guys know I've been huge on self care and just having routines that make me feel good. First thing is this dry brush. This is from Ohm Organics. And I was really interested in dry brushing because I was really into like lymphatic drainage, especially in my upper body. Dry brushing has been really interesting for me to reconnect with my body, like even taking the two minutes to dry brush and think about like, oh, this is my leg or oh, this is my arm. Like I know it's weird, but I really liked how it's helped me be mindful. I don't do it every day. You can take it off the handle too, so I'll use it like with my hand and then I put it back on for my back. Usually I'll do this before I shower um, and it does really stimulate because it gets your blood flowing. The reason I don't do it as often as I want to is because I usually shower at night, but I don't want to dry brush at night because it'll like make my body like super woken up, I guess. But yeah, dry brushing, Ohm Organics. I like it a lot. Stick with me, I have two more brands. So the first one is called Act and Acre and I have loved their hair care products. They just started shipping to Canada and they did send me some products to try, but I've been trying them and I've been digging it. What I really love is that they are silicone free, paraben free, cruelty free, vegan, sulfate free, gluten free, color safe, made in the USA. Action Acres, woman owned. By eliminating heat, their unique method of manufacturing consumes 90% less energy than conventional heat manufacturing when it comes to hair products. These aren't glass bottles because in the shower, I feel like it's not safe to use glass bottles, but 
They're produced with the most recyclable form of plastic and they're designed to last up to two years, allowing for refills. Acknowledge that, you know, it's made of plastic, it's not glass bottle, so it's not plastic free. But their refills, they can use 60% less plastic. At first, I was really like, thrown off by the cleanser because it doesn't foam as much as a normal shampoo. The instructions say to do it twice too and the second time you'll get a better lather and like foamy kind of consistency with it. But what blew me away when I use this conditioner and I've done this about five times already. When I use this and like I towel dried and then when I brushed through there were no knots and I was like is this a miracle? Like did I just get all the knots out in the shower? And I really love the feeling of my hair afterwards. Like my hair feels clean, but not stripped. And it's super voluminous. I added a few waves in today, but I could feel like even with my roots, my hair feels fuller. And I have had such weird anxiety about my hair thinning, but it's cause like I have really fine hair, but like even if I did this, you know, like you could tell. I have fine hair. Genuinely, I've been really loving these. So if you've been looking to try like a vegan, cruelty-free shampoo, conditioner, hair care system, I'm still trying out their serums and their hair masks. So if you want, I'll give an update probably in a future vlog, but just these for now, I've really loved. The other stuff, I need more time to test because they're like the serums and the hair masks and stuff. And then the other thing in my shower that I've loved is Necessaire products. Necessaire is also climate neutral. They're part of 1% for the planet. And I've been really loving these two specifically. And I was finishing my other like eucalyptus body wash, but I would have finished this one by now if I didn't. But this is their body wash. It smells like eucalyptus and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite shower scent. But I've also really loved their body exfoliator and their body serum. I've been trying to take care of more of my like overall skin. You guys know I've been really into my like skincare for my face, but in terms of my body, I realized I should start taking care of it more, you know? And I don't know, my body produces melanin really easily and I have like what you call the strawberry legs too. So I've been trying really hard to moisturize it, take care of it. Because it's summer, like there's so many mosquitoes and my body is so allergic, so it swells up so much and then it gets itchy and then I scratch and then even if I don't scratch, it scars. So I've been trying really hard to exfoliate and nourish and give my skin all over my body what it needs. But I've really been loving these as well. But I know that they do come in these plastic bottles and it's plastic free July, so I feel weird sharing that. I know I can do better, but I just, I really enjoy those for now. If you've gotten this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed some of my rambly faves of the last few weeks and a few months. And again, comment down below if you are interested in getting the medium sweats and tea from Colorful Standard in the color Ivory White and we can be twinsies. I know this is like a different type of video, but these are things that I've just been really enjoying in my day-to-day -day life. And especially when there's not much to enjoy with like lockdown and everything, I just thought it'd be fun to share what I've been loving. But I, again, I hope you enjoyed and I love you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone.